so basically i'm going to discuss on how the process works on our end uh, right from we onboard the cpa till we execute the actual client of yours so how the things will look i will explain you here so the first uh, we already explained this thing on our website uh, as you can see uh, there is two processes we mentioned here the cpa onboarding process that for the first time when the cp is onboarded to our client base and the other one is the once the cp is onboarded how the actual work will happen by like, uh, our execution process of each and every client which the cp or the accounting start onboard to us so the first thing first we have an i get a call with you guys and this is already being done when we are at this stage and we also do a simple project so that you guys have confidence on how we would have done the work or how all these process would actually look like the third step once everything is agreed upon and we are fine to go ahead the communication channel setup communication is always important and it is all the way more important because we are working in very different time zone so it is very important that the communication channel is very uh, much full proof and and uh, very strong so we have we are using the asana as the default communication channel within our team so we suggest this to our cpa clients also uh, if they do not have their own communication channel or they do not want to keep their own communication channels we provide the default channel as the asana as the communication channel where all the data can be shared every client could be tracked that where it is and what kind of things are going on with that client everything would be i would say uh, mentioned in the asana so let me explain you how this thing work this is one of the sample project which i have created for our understanding so uh, it started with the onboarding form so we'll provide you the link of this client onboarding form where let's say the client can mention they when they are filing this form they can just mention this is like for example i will explain yush gupta and their email address is let's say pkg at the ricketix.com then have you added as this tax professional no so no or yes then yes then they need to explain every kind of you know all the wallets they are using uh, this specifically i just mentioned here the wallets they are using so let's say i'm using i'm not just for a sense i just O X X O X Y O X Z whatever wallet addresses they have used they just have to mention it there. Okay, then there are a lot of questions. I just take you through all those questions or like what is their reporting currency? What is their business entity? So let's say business entity or they are doing it personal reporting currency. Let's say the USD. Which time zone? Let's say the PST. And then uh, do you want us to know peculiar thing about your portfolio? Something the client need to show. Let's say. i have margin activity let's see this is something i will show you here the margin activity just anything that client want to mention then if they have using the centralized exchange uh, we just explain them that is this is the drive link where they can get the instruction on how to generate the csvs and uh, they would just mention yeah i can share those csvs they can share it on the mails or anything they want or if you want we can create something here that they can attach it here but usually the cpa forms want that it goes through them so we do not keep that option here but we can uh, customize this rule or uh, customize this form for the specific need of accounting so so let's say i just mentioned it here i can share the csv yes i can share on me let's the stuff that i just submit this query and it is submitting your form so the client would submit their form here and uh, see this form can be adjusted on the any accounting form branding or anything you want this is like nothing would be on qtix and everything would be brand branded on your part nothing would be on us so uh, that's that once it is formed then you would see that this query is updated here that piyush gupta has submitted this form once it is submitted everything will be automatic it is in proposal pending and we would give you the proposal and everything is here proposal pending then we'll complete the proposal mark on your team and and waiting client approval everything would be here then it's also you would got to know that where the work is once it is approved that where is work in progress preparer it is reviewer work completed whether the changes is requested whatever you want like it it is also customizable but this is the default we already created it for our clients 
so this is something how the asana work so one more important thing i wanted to add is that if the if you guys have already have some internal data sharing tool let's say for example you guys are using notion or you guys are using anything like uh, text doom or something like this we can manage this and we are using this already for our other accounting firms the clients they have their internal structure then we are using their tool so that's not a problem this is kind of default which you guys can use if you do not have any internal structure or you want to use this one this is most convenient for us and you guys asana is also renowned one for you guys so that's about uh, the asana then you know once the communication is channel is set up we would have team introduction and then we go for a work execution now this work execution is very important here this work execution process is being divided apart uh, the first thing we start with the any client we start we start with the budget we gave you the budget amount like how many hours we are thinking about going on this how much it will cost you and uh, we stick to the budget like we always stick to the budget except for some of the scenarios like there is a change in the scope of the work like the client has added some new wallet addresses or new centralized exchanges or the client has asked to do some more extra work in that case we divert from our budget which we have already given and which is make more sense because those were not accounted when the budget it was calculated so we stick to the budget almost all, all the time and uh, except for certain scenario i mentioned so this is how our budget looks like like you know uh, this is the you know how much transactions are there in the review period you see what, what is the approach i can explain you once we do the work what kind of approach we are using and then the what is the work period like beginning to this date or 2022 only kind of this and then we mention how much transactions are there and then put the hours and everything so this is the detailed budget we provided to you guys and then you can decide on whether you want to go on this or not go on this and in fact so the point i just want to convey is that we have robust budgeting you know method within our organization to you know budget every client which which we are doing so once the budgeting is done we move to the software setup part so let's say you approve the budget that yeah this number of hours should be fine and you want to go ahead with things we go for a software setup now in the software we always you know suggest you the best software for the client based on their activity however we are fine with the the software already purchased by the client and we can do work on almost every software available in the market be it on the you know individual side like individual client any software available in the market and the uh, on the corporate side that also fine we can use any software be it so like any software we can do the work on so once the budgeting is done we check the setup everything the setup the software need to be set it up all the wallets to be added and everything so we'll do that now then we move to the you know the crypto reconciliation part and uh, the crypto reconciliation part what i would say is that the core work the core work is being performed by the team now in the reconciliation there are three levels of scrutiny we do the first the the first person the preparer he is the one he or she is the one who actually does the work on the first time classify the transaction in the software do the setup and everything is done by the preparer then this work goes to the reviewer who of course review the work every setup from setup till work done everything reviews the work and then share the query sheet with the you know the query resolution which we have we share the query sheet just i would show the query resolution part before that once the query sheet is being shared this work goes to the closer once the queries are resolved the closer would review those queries responses ask to do uh, the, the those changes and then give the closer like it he, he or she might see that whether the gains are looking good or whether the something is not off and something like this so the closer are the one who are with us for like 3 years and they know in and out of every like most of about the software and they knows where the mistakes happen where things are going off and everything so those close the work reviewers reviews the work and prepare done the work. so uh, that's how we do the work on the crypto reconciliation side
now important part is the query resolution how do we communicate to the client that the query result that this is the queries we have so that's important uh, uh, because you know this is again the time zone difference and the client has no clue about the stuff and everything so we have this you know the uh, the information sheet concept uh, that how the information sheet actually have everything related to the client so the first this is an executive summary uh, that what kind of what is the approach review period cost basis method date time software everything we mention in the executive summary then there is a status of work also that what is the status of their particular volume whether it is in the whether the data received or not whether it is a preparer whether it is a review state or what is the notes or remarks or anything about this so we we put it everything clear transparent that where the work is happening now this is something very internal to us so doesn't matter to you now it is very important the query sheet where we mention everything so uh, everything like uh, every possible detail from last 3 4 years of our experience after that we frame this uh, query sheet which is i think uh, made it very clear for the client there are three kind of query status like it is open whether the query is closed or sometimes the query is for resubmission also so that also we mentioned here in the query sheet now the audit backup also so in this information sheet we also put the audit backup the audit backup is kind of things like what kind of assumptions we have made uh, where the client has not provided sufficient data we also put it here that since you have not provided that sufficient data you may go into the issues in the future or any kind of small detail which would be used by the accounting firm in future would we'll mention you so that client should not come to you or us that why we have done certain thing and no one expected to remember everything so we put it here kind of audit notes that yeah we take certain assumption this is way we have done this what kind of communication which is important which the client has communicated to do like to ignore this exchange or ignore this audit or consider certain deposit as a revenue or consider certain withdrawal as an expense kind of this thing everything we put it as an audit note so this is the information sheet this is shared with the client directly now we use the accounting form email id or google id to share this information sheet so that your privacy remains the utmost important for example if we sharing this sheet the google sheet uh, we will share it from your email id so in that way your you know the privacy remains the same so that's the about the query resolution and the last step once the work is done the closer would come submit it to the cpa team or law accounting firm team and they review it or they they just put their notes or something like that they are finding this off and closer can respond to them so you know uh, this is pretty much the process which we are using from you know the onboarding process and the work execution process and we are using the asana we are using the information sheet which i have showed you just now and we are using the uh, the how we budget the stock that with you and uh, in between that there are smaller smaller tools which we are using which is very proprietary to ours like for example balance matching and uh, year end balance matching tools or the reconciliation tool within our organization to simplify the work you know uh, to make it more more easier for us but for you guys this is basic process we are following to execute point work thanks thank you so much